Now, this can vary from course to course, from instructor to instructor, but how much media seems just right when you're working with an instructor? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't think that there's really any amount that I could be very prescriptive about. Yeah, because yeah. It really depends more on what all is in this course mm -hmm. to begin with. Like, are you making all of this media and they're, you know, having to watch this other stuff and you have, they have all of these other readings. Like, what's the balance yeah. um, of what's going on? And that's why I'm generally very lucky to be able to collaborate with an instructional designer who is paying attention to those kinds of things and has the bigger picture of the course yeah. um, so that I can, <clears throat> excuse me, mm -hmm. so that I can learn a little bit about that and know as well so that yeah. things are going to be in balance because of course it's feels like oh we can just record all this stuff and put it in there and it's like well how much, how much time do the students or how much time are they supposed to be spending on this three mm -hmm. credit course so um i think that's kind of a big picture instructional design question as far as all of the other elements beyond the media that are going to be in the course um so if an instructor is like, I want all of my lectures online and that's what the students are watching mm -hmm. and they have a worksheet that they're doing while they're watching it. And then that's kind of like they're out of class time. And then in class, we're doing all this other cool stuff. Um, you know, then it's like, okay, then we might have a ton of lecture mm -hmm. content. We might yeah. have you know, for each module, there might be four, six minute videos or something like that, that the student, it just it kind of depends on the content. Um, but then there's not a lot of other expectations on the students for their, you know, pre-class preparations and out of class time. So it just depends. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful answer. And I appreciate those considerations. That's going to make it, you know, what it's going to depend on. As our conversation concludes, Allison offers advice for people creating and supporting those who create instructional media.